This is your CBS News Baltimore Evening Update for April the 2nd. I'm Denise Koch. Some storms earlier today caused salvage operations at the Key Bridge collapse site to be briefly halted, but they resumed this afternoon. The governor insists the job will get done as quickly as possible as long as it is safe. These new sonar images show just how bad things are under the water. Concrete and steel bars twisted together, complicating the salvage effort. The Coast Guard Admiral helping lead the, lead the effort spoke about it a short time ago. As the governor mentioned, we have made progress in a couple other areas. We have reopened that northern channel that we spoke about yesterday with our first two barges to traffic through there. And we just reopened that southern channel today at a draft of 14 feet. Also tonight, the We're governor going to announced the creation. continue working planning for a third alternate channel when we get those spans that are just north of the Jap Channel removed. Also tonight, the governor announced the creation of a scholarship program in the name of the victims. An investigation underway after a 17 year old died after being shot near the Inner Harbor. It happened last night. Officers were called to the East Prass Street near South Street just before 8 30 p.m. They found the teenager. He was taken to a local hospital where, again, he later died. Right now, that teenager has not been identified, and police are asking anyone with information that could lead to a suspect call in tips. Helping fund shock trauma. That is the mission of Howard County Executive Calvin Ball as he announced a significant investment to the R. Adams Cowley Shock Trauma Center. The county executive announced a $3 million investment, $1 million for each fiscal year that he has left in office. Ball says more than 400 Howard County residents are treated at shock trauma every year. He says the investment will help fund these critical services and help save lives. We are fortunate in Maryland to have the premier shock trauma center in the country. It's located right here in the heart of Maryland's exceptional emergency medical services, the first coordinated system in the country, a national model of excellence. It's the place where patients' lives are saved each and every day. In addition to allocating funding to shock trauma, Ball says his fiscal year 2025 budget also includes investments to the Johns Hopkins Howard County Medical Center, as well as other vital medical institutions. And that's your evening update for CBS News Baltimore. I'm Denise Koch.